Okay, so uh, I'm Bertrand from the Brasil La Hoop uh, here in Namur, and I'm really glad to welcome you here. Uh, we are uh, a brewery in, installed in the center of the Namur. It's, Namur is a small town in the uh, French part of Belgium. We are proud of our town, also proud of our, our beer. And in fact, this is, this is a, a story of friends. So we had uh, a discussion uh, during holiday with friends. We say, oh, we want to make something for our town. Let's put some animals in the citadel or let's do it something. And we say, yeah, but there is no a local beer in Namur. There is no identical beer in Namur. So we began to think about a beer in Namur and we create our first beer in 2013 and we launched our brewery here. We are in an old brewery. It was a brewery here since, uh, until 1922 and we installed our brewery here in 2015 to, to make our first uh, local hoop beer here in Namur. And what are we going to do now? Ah, but we are going to drink a beer. So we have a lot of. Uh, uh, we have. I will, I will begin first with the Jean Barrière beer. Uh, it's the lighter one we have. So why we call it the Jean Barrière? The Jean Barrière is. You have to know that in Namur, every year there is a big fight between the steel worker with the also the emblem of our beer, uh, between the steel worker of the local, uh, the, um, inside the town, fight against the steel worker outside the town. It's every third Sunday of September. And the, the winner is the last man standing. They take his uh, steel work and he put his, his leg like this and he say, I have win. So it's, I have a Jean Barrier. So that, that's why we call this beer the Jean Barrier. And also because in Namur we are in front of Jean. Jambe is another uh, uh, part of Namur, uh, and also it was a little bit uh, a story between Jambe and, uh, and Namur for this beer. Yeah. yeah. So it's the first beer. It's good. Uh, it's good to, to drink it at the, as the first one uh, because she is very light. It's it's 4.5. Uh, it's three hop exactly uh, like uh, the hoop, and we have also the dry hopping in this beer. So we are not in a pills, of course, we are in a special beer, but it's a very light special beer. Because a lot of people was telling he has the hoop, is a little bit dangerous. You drink one, two, three, and you are, we have a good thirsty uh, feeling. So when you drink one, you want another one. So they say, do you want, do you want us, do you want you uh, to make a more lighter beer for us? So we make the Jean Barrier, and it's a beer you can drink like water. As from the morning, like now, <laughs> until the evening. What's your capacity for the production per year for this brewery? So here we make, uh, f last year we make 4,000 uh, hectoliters. Let's say that before COVID, because uh, the situation is a bit uh, different now, but before COVID, 20% uh, was made in exportation in France. And the rest is, let's say, 70% uh, here in Namur and the rest is outside Namur in Belgium. But we are thinking now to really um, uh, change our mind and to say we are going to, to, to work for Namur and also uh, Wallonia and Belgium, but to not go too much in exportation because it's a lot of uh, uh, effort, it's a lot of energy, and also you, we have to say, I'm, I'm, very, I'm really sad to say that, but we have to say that even in France, they begin to make also good beer and local beer. And if we and if we have to, if we want to have a local speech here to say stay local and um, drink local, it's the same in France. They have to also drink local there. And we are not le uh, let's say legitim. We say that in English legitimate. legitimate for that. So we are thinking a little bit uh, among us to say we will uh, continue the exportation like we have today, but not develop it. Just continue it like that and work in, here in Namur and make a lot of uh, new beer for Namur, a new, uh, new event, a new visit, and uh, new stuff for Namur. What are your plans going forward? Do you hope to get bigger or do you want to stay uh, like a micro -bastery? Do you want to stay in the corner? <sighs> That's a very good question, and I, I think it's changed a little bit since three months. Uh, we, we wanted to have a. Uh, um, uh, um, Let's, what do you say, croissants in English? Uh, um, uh, a, a growth, yes, a growth, a normal growth every year. And yes, it was through exportation, but now with the situation we have just uh, lived in, uh, we say 
maybe we want to stabilize. Uh, yes, to, uh, we are now with a little bit more than 4,000 hectolitres. Our objective should be to go in five years in 8,000 hectolitres and stay there. But made a lot of other things, not only beer, other products, other initiatives, and to really be more and more local, even in the mirror, uh, a lot of things, and not to try to sell the more beer as possible and to go to China and to go to, to, to USA. That's, we say that now it's not our objective. In the beginning of the project, we are five people. There is one of uh, really good in Excel, so makes figures and calculation, and I don't like that. There is one engineer, the one, there is one um, beer engineer. Uh, there was a, a former um, uh, shopper in, in Namur, knowing a lot of people. Uh, and, uh, and there was me, and I'm more in communication and, and marketing. So we bring all those capacity together to create our product. And yes, we want it to, uh, to be uh, as more local as possible. So we, for example, we take the steel worker as an emblem. Uh, you, I just explained that, you have it uh, also there. Uh, we are in the old brewery in Namur, and we have also make a special beer for the 40 Molens. The 40 Molens are the confrery of the liar here in Namur. Each year they make a, a big uh, a tournament of to, to elect the best liar in Namur. Uh, but I don't think political can do that because they will win. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so, and, uh, so there are philanthropic, uh, there are philanthropic uh, uh, organization, and uh, you have to know that this organization um, uh, celebrate last year is 150, no, sorry, 175 years of existence, and they were created here, in this brewery. It was not the brewery at that time. It was like a cafe, a bar, but a long time ago. And they were created here. So last year, we made a special edition of our beer, uh, La Hoop, uh, aged in, um, in um, um, Armagnac uh, barrel for them. And they still uh, sell it. And all the money is for them and for the, uh, the uh, philanthropy they, uh, they want to, uh, to promote. What kind of ex Experiments or new beers do you ah. have to release like that? I mean, crap, Sorry, but I'm thirsty. <laughs> there was, no, no, <laughs> okay, uh, good. Um, so, in fact, um, since five years, no, oh, during five years, we had only one beer, the hoop, and we had hit uh, from the vat or uh, in big bottles. After, uh, after those five years, we have some customers saying, oh, it's, can you make it also in small bottles? So we made 33. And as we say, you have to know that in Namur, we say that people are really uh, slow. It's, our emblem is the snail, so we are slow. So we have made more than five euros to say, maybe we will do another beer. So we, have, we are quite slow. So we made the Jean Barrière. And we say uh, ah, it's a good experience of also for a brewer to have to, to, to think about new product. And we create a, um, a, a brand called uh, Brew Rock because we like rock. We have a lot of band of rock coming here and have a, a, a concert, a live, live session here. Uh, and so we said we want to create each year two or three different beer in the Brew Rock area, so we had one, it was a stout, and it was called Painted Black, for a stout and the, uh, the Rolling Stones. Stone, <laughs> Rolling Stones. Uh, and uh, so we have made also with a local uh, hop that we have uh, uh, here in the, in the near Namur. And the third one is, a, is the collaboration between our, uh, our uh, brewery and the brewery of La Sambre. With this uh, brewery, we had a lot of uh, good collaboration, so we have made this beer. It's uh, the Baden Skiffel. It's always um, decorated by a local artist. Uh, we have the other one out there. Uh, you can see uh, all the, the other, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, designs, yes. The Baden Skiffel was a whole uh, folk group, uh, folk bank in Namur in the 70s, and they also uh, uh, celebrate their 40 years last year, so we make like let's say a collector for them. So we use La Hoop and we had uh, the Eldorado Hop who is used by JC in, uh, in his beer from La Brasile de la Sambre and we make a mix of them and it's, this is Baden Skiffel. But it's always, uh, we made a lot, but we made a, a, a batch, sorry, uh, and when it's finished, it's finished. We don't make it anymore, we make a new one. 
And so we say this is the brew rocks because it's a little bit our rock, uh, rock spirit to say we try. If it works, yes. If it doesn't work, well, no, no issue. We'll do another one. What is the craft beer scene in Namur in general? Do you think it's, you know, you were basically the first in the scene to see it? Yeah. Do you, is it up and coming? And can yeah. uh, beer drinkers everywhere in Namur become really la city de la bière, as, as they're, they're trying to promote? Yeah, alors, uh, yes, it's a little bit like everywhere uh, since a few years uh, in Belgium. We, you have a lot of uh, new projects uh, coming, and it's good. I think it's good for the creativity. It's, all, it's also good for the, for the consumer, because it's even better that they go for uh, other local brewery than the biggest brewery in the world that we have here in, in Belgium. So, uh, yes, it's good to have all those local uh, um, uh, local initiatives. Uh, so we, we have a lot of uh, here also in Namur. And also what we see is that there is a lot of uh, bar, new bar in Namur who are promoting really beer. And so in the past we have bar with only uh, three tap. Now we have bar, I see we will uh, see some of them this afternoon with a lot of tap. And so it's also a new habit for the consumer to taste, to have new, uh, new feeling and to taste the local brewery. So I think it's really a good thing. Another thing that we see is that slowly people are drinking beer instead of wine in the restaurant. And often more at noon, when you want to have a lunch at noon and you don't have a lot of time and be, if you drink wine you will, uh, you will sleep a little bit in the afternoon, you drink a good beer uh, by eating and that's quite new and we discuss with our customer, the bar, the restaurant and they say yeah it's, it's growing up. In terms of COVID-19, is this going to hurt the business? We've heard like one quarter of the bars and all that, your customers, yeah. your clients are going to go under. Yeah. I guess the support of the government is important, but do you see bad coming out of it, or do you see innovation? I mean, you started selling beers by delivering, I guess, yeah. in response, and you started online. It's pushed a lot of people to do things they wouldn't have done without it. Exactly, exactly. And the question now is, do we continue with that, uh, or do we privilege our uh, partner? Uh, but. Let's say that for us, it was, it was a big shock, of course. Uh, during the first months, we, we were only at 10% of, of normal volume. Uh, so it's really nothing. But then the people began to re, uh, re go for local product. And they say, OK, it, it will take time. So we also want to enjoy local product at home. So yes, we make a, a website to sell the, the, the hoop. But we say, OK, we are not going to sell it directly. We are, we are going to say like through our normal partner who are close now. So we uh, go to our uh, wholesaler drinks and we say, do you want to deliver in your area to, to, to direct people or beer? And they say yes. So we make the, the order through our site, but that's partner we, who are delivering. And now they come, but now it's reopened. They can come and enjoy it like, uh, like uh, before. So for us, it was really, we will taste it. Huh? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> For us, it was really uh, um, uh, an innovation. Uh, allez, uh, we had time to think. To think. <laughs> so we had time to, to think. So we, we, uh, you ask us about our exportation. We think about that. Uh, we think also about other product. We think uh, about a lot of things, about uh, partnership uh, with local uh, bar or restaurant. So we had a lot of time to think. Uh, but yes, I think we will uh, have um, uh, a down of volume. We will make this year maybe the volume we have made two years ago. So uh, we were in uh, growth everywhere, and now I think this year we will not be in growth. We will be uh, less than growth, uh, less than the year, the year before. Uh, but OK, we will, we will pass through. I think we will pass through. Because it's not only bar, but as we are the, uh, let's say, the the, 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 the local beer, uh, you have also all the school party at the end of the year, you have also all the event, uh, the, the, the trail, the sports event, the tennis tournament, and all those things were closed. So it was also this uh, for us uh, difficult. You will see that uh, when, you, when, um, uh, when you taste the hoop, there is a, a bit of bitter and a bit of sweet also. Uh, and so we made a cocktail that you pre-mix with full of highs, the cocktail and the beer, and you have a, a, a cocktail called the Felicia, like Felicia Robs. Uh, this is, this is uh, Jean Moret brewed, brewed this week. So you see, you have still the... Uh, yeah. So 
So normally she... Uh, very young. <laughs> yeah, yes. very young, yes. <laughs> With the Jean Monnet, we keep it three weeks in fermentation, and the hoop is between five and six weeks in fermentation. So we have uh, tanks for hoop and tanks for uh, Jean Monnet, and we have... Uh, we use this small tank for uh, uh, our brew rocks and uh, those kind of, uh, of experiment experimentation. Yes, it's very young, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have made a quality test. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> we are not beer lover in the beginning. Yes, I like beer. But I was not during all my life saying I'm, I'm going to make beer. In fact, we create a beer because we wanted to make something for Namur. It was, this is really the story. Make something for Namur, and then we make a beer. We don't make a beer for Namur. So it was really, uh, we, yeah, we took it like that. So we have a lot of uh, uh, project and responsibility to, yes, to, to do something here in, in our beautiful town.